Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we're going to be doing Deshaun Watson Team MVP gameplay. I gotta say this card actually looks really really good. Now I do have Goldie completely maxed out. I also have Sprinter maxed out so he gets plus two speed from that and John Madden with John Madden passing. So he gets like plus one to basically everything. Uh, plus three speed total, and then plus one to like every throw and stat, and then of course we go deep, gets the throw power, and he gets the deep accuracy up. You guys see he does have a bad throw under pressure, only an 85, and it's really an 84, which is kind of bad. Uh, but besides that, speed, 92. That's really good. 99 throw power, 96 short, 92 medium, and he also was a 96 throw deep. Throwing wise, the card looks super, super good. Uh, also has a 94 acceleration, a 67 carrying. Uh, spin and juke wise, he's not really too good. 77 spin and an 88 juke move, so Vic definitely beats him there when it actually comes to running with the ball. But throwing wise, he actually beats Vic. So I'm pretty excited to see exactly how he's going to do here. But as you guys can see, this is the rest of the offense. Jerry Rice, Todd Gurley, Julian Edelman and randy moss and of course the offensive line and over on the defensive side of things you guys see the squad uh we currently have sean taylor aaron donald fully powered up still need to pick up that new khalil mack uh and then once i do i think it'll be a 99 overall and then the rest of the team let's get into the gameplay now also guys i did just upload a video doing 50 of the random team builder player packs if you guys want to see 100 Get that video to 2,500 likes. At the time of recording this video, it's been like an hour, and that video already has like a thousand likes. So we're closing in on 2,500 already after just an hour. You guys are absolutely crazy with the likes on those videos. And with that being said, if you guys want to see any more gameplays, let me know down below who else you guys like to see. Of course, tomorrow we get some more team MVP, so I'll probably knock out another gameplay for you guys tomorrow, depending on who we get. As Cooper is breaking up a couple tackles, I think that's Amari Cooper. That was, in fact, Amari Cooper. And by the way, they need to change his number. He's still number 89, which is number 19 on the Cowboys. I guess they won't change that until next year. This guy is rocking out, though, with the throwback Cowboys uniform. He's one of my favorite unis in the game. Still waiting on those uh, powder blue chargers, though. Those are definitely my favorite uniforms. As he's rerouting somebody, and Jerry Rice is picking up the first. We cannot allow this man to just completely go up and down the field rerouting people. We have to send some pressure at him as he actually has Greg Olson in there at tight end too. And Barkley, uh, running back, uh, he does have Steve Young, so he's got a pretty solid QB as well. But I think I'm more worried about Barkley as I thought he was about to break that one loose. I definitely am going to try to run some read options when I'm on the off side of things, even though, you know... Watson, that's really the best spinner juke, but he's got some speed. I definitely want to try, try to take advantage of that, run some QB draws, uh, run some triple options. I've been running a lot of triple options lately, and honestly, like, it's really good as we knock it loose. I wasn't sure what route Jerry Rice was running there. I thought it was going to be an out route. It ended up being to the inside there, so almost caught me, but luckily we knocked that ball loose. Third and six coming up, though. Let's see what he's going to here. Probably Jerry Rice again, and wow, he pff, absolutely shook me. Let's see if we can get some pressure on this play as it looks like he's probably going to be chucking it deep. Oh my god, I almost had a pick and Amari Cooper broke like three tackles. Oh, I got stuck on the D-line. This is not good on DeMarcus Ware and he finds someone open. He's all the way down to the 10-yard line. Not going too good for us as he's running the ball and Ricky is trucking over people. I feel like I have really solid goal line defense this year, so hopefully we can stop this man. Do not... Let him run it for the touchdown. Ricky Williams, I feel like, is about to get this ball. And he is. Bobby Wagner screaming through the backfield. Third and goal. Let's see what he's going to go to. I'm expecting maybe a high point to Jerry Rice, honestly. It seems like that's what a lot of people like to do down in the goal line, especially me, uh, with this formation. And it looks like he's not going to be doing that. But he is going to go to the outside to Jerry. And he did throw a high point. First play with Watson. I'm running a QB draw. I want to see what he can do with the ball in his hands. Deshaun Watson busting it to the outside here and picking up a first down. So right off the bat, I could tell the definitely speed difference there between him and Michael Vick, but I had to throw on the Texans Junies for this gameplay too. We're going to run a triple option here, see if we can get something going here, and oh boy, this is not going to be good. If Watson gets a power up, honestly, he could be really, really deadly as we have two people wide open and Jerry Rice picks up about 10. I'm going to try to run the ball here on third and four. He does have Jabal Shear right there, and I think that's Demarcus Lawrence on the D-line to the right side. So two pretty good defensive ends there. We're still trying to run the ball, and Gurley can't pick up the first. 
All right, fourth and four. Let's see if Deshaun Watson can clutch up here and pick up a first down. Looks like we're going to be open. Jerry with the good catch. Might have somebody open deep here. I'm going to look for maybe Randy Moss or possibly Julian Edelman. Actually, we have Kittle wide open. I'm going to take that and pick up a couple of yards there. Now I'm going to take a deep shot here. Let's see if Edelman can get open way down the field. If he's not open, then I'm uh, going to have to make a second read here. And it looks like he's not going to be open. And it looks like in general, no one's open. We're going to try to throw it to Edelman though. And he's coming back to the ball. And he picked up the first down. And he juked somebody out. That was not looking too good. And I honestly have to like, when nothing's open, I seem to like run backwards. I need to stop doing that because that is absolutely terrible. Running another read option here though. And oh my lord. All right, so first drive, unfortunately, did stall, but we're going to take our field goal here and tie this game up at 3-3. Three to three. So far, it looks like his main target is definitely going to be Jerry Rice whenever he passed the ball. So as long as we can maybe cover him, and then it looks like his second option is going to be Amari Cooper. So I'm not really too worried about Greg Olson that much because he's definitely trying to chuck it deep as d is coming in with the sack. My defensive line has been really, really good as of recently, but I cannot wait to pick up that new Khalil Mack, and it's going to be even better. Khalil Mack, 99 Aaron Donald, and of course, uh, Demarcus Ware, and I got stuck. Luckily, made a play. So starting off at halftime, luckily we do get the ball here, but it is still tied 3-3, three to three, so I want to try and make a play if something's going to be open here. Maybe Jerry Rice is going to be open on the crosser, and he is definitely wide open. Jerry! Oh, if we could have just juked out Sean. He was running cover two on that last play, so I'm going to try to chuck it deep here to Randy Moss. If Moss can beat them, and it looks like, unfortunately, he is running a different coverage. We're going to try to scramble and take a sack. Dang. So we're sending a blitz off that left side, so honestly, I might try to throw, like, a wheel route over there. If I can get... You know what? I'm going to keep girling on the right side, actually. See what can happen here. Maybe someone will get open. Edelman is wide open, picking up a couple of yards, maybe, like, eight, I think, or 12. Same thing as eight. We are now in field goal range, though, as long as we do not take a sack. So, worst case scenario here, we're just going to throw this ball away, take a field goal, and go up six to three. But let's see if Moss can get open on the out route. Doesn't look like he's got... Oh, my God. We took a sack. We are not playing too good. I got to say that right now. Fourth and 27, though. Let's see if we can just chuck it up and, I guess, make a prayer. See if something can happen here. Uh, maybe we'll beat him deep or something. Let's see maybe if Jerry on the comeback route, he is sending a massive blitz, and we're going to try to route someone. Edelman, go up the field, juke someone out, and that didn't work. Honestly, that third down blitz, though, there was really nothing I could do. We just came in so fast, I honestly like couldn't even throw the ball away. So that really sucks right there. It was either punt or go for it, and we picked up 20 yards there, so it was basically just a really bad punt as he picks up three. I'm feeling pretty confident in our defense, though. If we can just play some lockdown defense, get the ball back, and have another opportunity to make a score here and go up, I definitely would like that. Let's see if Watson can actually get a touchdown here, and I think we need to take a little bit more advantage of his scrambling as Khalil Mack comes in for the sack. I'm sending a blitz on third and 17. We are bringing six people at this man, so hopefully we can get there in time and stop him, and he actually throws the drag, but well, that's not going to be a first down. Surprisingly enough, this guy is actually going for it. So fourth and eight, he must have a play that he really, really likes. But I'm going to run a quarterback spy as well as another. Oh, man, that's wide open. Come on, man. What is up with my coverage? That is not what we like to see. And, of course, now he's all the way in field goal range. This is not going too good for me. Uh, we definitely need to try and shut down his run game. I feel like he's about to run the ball here. All this fake audible crap. I'm not falling for it, and it actually is going to be a, a pass play here. Across the middle, that's not open. I'm sending Bobby Wagner. Get the pick. you got to be kidding me. How does Chad Bailey not even, like, break that pass up, let alone Jerry just absolutely snags that? That is so freaking ridiculous. Second and inches, though, I'm definitely expecting a run play here. I'm hoping to shoot this gap with Wagner if it is going to be a run. And it's actually going to be a pass, surprisingly. Over the middle, he's got that open. And he's got me completely beat. All right, so now we're down by a touchdown. We have to get something going on offense. We have not had the best offensive drives this game. Uh, let's try a screenplay here to Ricky Williams. And it looks like that's going to be wide open. Ricky with a lot of running room. And he's all the way down to the 47. 10 seconds left before the fourth quarter. So I'm just going to try to get a run play off right here and see if we can pick up a first down. Oh, man, we got tackled in the backfield. Our run game has basically just not been there all game. Three rushes for negative 12 yards with Todd Gurley. He's just doing a really good job of stopping it, so we just have to pass, basically. And then when we pass, his pressure is just coming in, basically 
uh, screaming every single time. And we're gonna try to chuck it up here to Jerry. And he oh my, okay, I got bailed out. <laughs> okay, we need this first down on third down and four. And honestly, I'm gonna run the ball. I feel like we can probably run it here and pick up a first down. Todd Gurley, pick it up a first. Haven't been too confident in the run game all game long, but now down at about the 20 yard line, we're gonna try to chuck it up, see if we can get into the end zone, get a stop on defense, and then score again. Kittle, back of the end zone for the touchdown. I feel like the last time I did a Watson gameplay, I think it was his blitz edition, and I'm pretty sure it went something exactly like this, where Watson had to be super clutch towards the end, and we get another sack from D. Ware. Closing in on the two minute warning, I feel like this guy is definitely going to go for it if it comes down to fourth down. So I'm trying to send some more pressure, see if we can possibly stop Jerry Rice, and it looks like, oh, that got batted down. This could be the game right here. Fourth and 18, and this man is actually going to go for it. I'm sending a blitz at him. Hopefully, we can get there in time, get this sack, and close out this game. Trying to get Deshaun Watson another touchdown, of course. He might try to reroute someone, and he did! And I was ready for it. Bobby Wagner with the user pick. Let's see if we make this a pick six. Not a pick six, but I was ready for that reroute. He tried to play maker or Amari Cooper thinking that I would go with the receiver. That was already coveraged, and now I'm going to try to chuck it up here to uh, Kittle, see if he can go get a touchdown. No, that's not going to work. We're going to try to take off here. Oh, Edelman is wide open for that catch all the way down to the 8-yard line. We got to play it a little bit slow here, but I definitely want to try to get into the end zone again. And actually, let's just put some more points up. If you guys haven't seen the Mahomes gameplay, he was absolutely phenomenal. Like, Vic makes a lot of good throws. I feel like Mahomes, though, made better throws, and he's actually pretty freaking quick. As the, Okay, that should have been a user pick, because obviously I knew where he was going with that. And why is Greg Olson not down? What is this game? Once Lawrence Taylor gets an Ultimate Legend card, too, it is going to be absolutely insane. I cannot wait for ULLT, because once again, him, Aaron Donald, 99, Khalil Mack should be a 99 once I power him up, and D. Ware gets the Ultimate Legend card. It's going to be absolutely freaking disgusting. My pressure is going to be insane. And then I just need a couple more secondary boosts. Like at Strong Safety right now, I'm still rocking out with uh, NAT, Team of the Year, Jamal Adams. Which I definitely like the card, but I just wish that Amos or Amos, I think his name is one of the two. I, people always correct me. Like, Je Bears fans, can you tell me which one it is? Because I swear, every single video I say Amos, people say it's Amos. I say Amos, people say it's Amos. I never freaking know with that man. That's why I just call him Adrian from now on. But when he gets another upgrade, he is going to be nasty. I was kind of hoping he was the Bears captain, but I'm definitely not mad with Khalil Mack as it looks like nothing is open once again go after him and he's gonna throw the one away this very well could be the final play of the game six seconds left he has to go 35 yards it is fourth and two so he could like run the ball here and then call a timeout if he wants to just get another play but it looks like he's actually gonna do something like that final play of the game let's see if we can stop this man three seconds left if he scores a touchdown and takes this game to overtime I am going to be absolutely mad I'm going to say about that. So let's see if we can just get some pressure here, get a sack or something. And it looks like nothing's open to me. He's going to try to reroute someone. He's definitely not getting away with that. So overall, Deshaun Watson went 15 for 18, 213 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. Uh, the interception was my fault. You guys probably didn't see that because that was right before the half. And it was really bad. Uh, Rushing-wise, we really could not do anything. Gurley only had five rushes for three yards. Did have a touchdown, though, in that read option. And then Watson, two for 17, so not too bad. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Let me know down below your guys' opinions on the new MVP to Sean Watson. I definitely think the card is pretty good. Personally, I'm going to stick with Michael Vick. Really hoping he gets an Ultimate Legend card pretty soon. Hope you guys did enjoy the video, though. I'll see you guys next time.